after you've had your layout approved so I have outlined each individual tile I have lightly shaded it in pencil and then I have shown grain direction in this case with a red marker um, so some of the single tiles you see you can change the grain direction on those if it's a longer tile the grain direction is going to go the full length on that once you have this approved you are ready to do your corral drawing so you're going to go into unit 3 um, on Schoology and you will find the layout and design activity inside of that you'll find a folder for your corral drawing and you're going to open up the one that says student template 2021 you'll have to click to download that and then click it again to open it you're most likely going to get a window that asks you to sign in you can simply skip that if you get any warnings here about text or anything like that just hit OK on that so the document's already set up for you. Each of the grid spaces is 7 eighths of an inch by 7 eighths of an inch. You have both uh, horizontal and vertical uh, pieces that you can then just duplicate over here when you're ready. Currently, uh, this is just saved in your downloads folder, uh, which is not a good idea. So the first step you want to do is most likely do a save as. You want to put that in OneDrive. Uh, I have a folder for uh, materials, and then I would name this if you want to leave it called layout design and then put you know your name on here we'll say your name so no one puts my name on there and we'll hit save on that you want to look at that title up there so now I can see it's in my OneDrive classes materials and it's called layout design so for each one of these you're going to duplicate some pieces again you'll need to be looking off of your hand-drawn sketch uh, in order to place these in the right uh, location I'm going to start with these single tiles that go along here uh, and then add in some of the longer ones. Um, so we'll go back to Corel here and I'm going to grab, again I use the ones with the vertical grain there, so I'm going to select it and then I'm just going to hit Control D on my keyboard, that duplicates it. And I'm going to click off of it and now I have this separate element. When I bring this up here, it's important that I snap into the grid so you'll see how it says grid up in the corner. Now I have a number of these across the top of my design. Uh, I have them in groups of two as I go across. So I'm going to do uh, a duplicate across there and then delete the ones I don't want. When you have nothing selected, so if you're in the selection tool, click out here in space. This is your default duplication distance. Right now the X is zero, the Y is negative uh, 0.875. So if I duplicate this one, it moves it down in the Y points 875 and it moves it nothing in the, in the X location. I'm going to change that. I want to move over to this tile and I could simply duplicate it and just drag it into place. If that's how you want to do this, that's perfectly fine. Um, but I'm going to show you a little bit faster way to work here. So with nothing selected, I'm going to uh, type in 0.875 as my duplicate distance for the X and I'm going to put in 0 for the Y. I'm going to simply grab this and just do Control D and I'm just going to do this all the way across my design. In my design, I have these in sets of two, so I'll simply select that and I will delete the ones I don't want. And then looking back at my design, uh, I have some fours, I have a three in the middle, and some twos. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate those out uh, into place. And again, these are all verticals. Uh, so I'll grab this one, Control D, and notice it pushed it over to the right this time because that's my uh, Control D um, or, or duplicate distance. Make sure it snaps in. I'll grab it again click off of it and then grab it to move it. Remember when I'm moving it I'm in the selection tool. Now I'll grab a 3, control D, click off of it and then move it up there. Make sure it snaps in and says grid when it snaps in. Sometimes you need to zoom in a little bit closer to make that happen. Uh, and then I also have a 4 so control D on that, click off of it and then drag it up to place it there. So it's locked in on the grid, control D again, click off drag this one to the other side. Make sure that locks in on grid. Sometimes that can be a little finicky. So they all look pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to select this group because on my design uh, I have the identical pieces on the bottom just mirrored over. Uh, so you may have this situation left to right, top to bottom that you can make that a little bit faster. Uh, I'm going to go to object and I'm going to group these. So I'll group that together. I'm going to duplicate this whole object, so I'm going to do Control D now, and now I have this whole set of objects. 
and I can simply mirror that so if you look up here I can mirror that vertically and then I can drag and drop this down in place so I'll get a little bit closer and make sure we snap into grid uh, when we get there so I may have to grab that from a corner get that to drop right in place um, and then I just have a few more uh, to place in uh, but again it's just as simple as click on the piece hit your control D on your keyboard click off of it and then you can drag that in place and just make sure each one of those snaps neatly into the grid space when you're all finished here you want to save it there is a second video that will take you through printing your design um, you will want to change your name here uh, so you can go to the text tool and you can click in there and type your name before you print this out uh, but make sure you follow those printing steps in order uh, so that you get a nice print out of this uh, that's it uh, let me know if you have any questions